This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. It is safe to say that running back Benny Snell has been a pleasant surprise this season for Mark Stoops' offense. Snell has seen his playing time increase in the absence of senior JoJo Kemp, who is recovering from a hand injury. But is the freshman's workload too much? Stoops says that is dictated by how the game flows and whether or not Kemp eventually returns to the lineup. No, you, you don't know. It depends on how the games unfold. We didn't have JoJo. Uh, in this game, uh, as I said, we, we could have used him in an emergency situation, but with the cast on his hand, uh, wasn't, uh, you know, w wasn't very smart on us to use him just because of ball security issues to use JoJo until he's a little bit more comfortable. And even hopefully this week he'll be, uh, I think a lot, the pain will be much better this week as opposed to last week for him. And, in that hand, uh, but Benny, he can carry the load. And, and again, we talked about capacity. We talked about capacity with boom. He can handle more as well, but it was a nice combination this past week. That time of the week. Once again, when we count down the UPI top five plays of the week, these from the final week of the high school football regular season. We start at number five, Ethan Barney of Prestonsburg look to be stopped at the line, but bust through and takes it all the way in for the Black Cat touchdown. Number four, Johnson Central running back Joe Jackson on the first play from scrimmage, 80 yards against the top ranked Belfry Pirates for the touchdown. We stay in Paintsville for number three. Belfry's Tavion Hunter fields the second half kickoff, returns it for a Pirate touchdown in the 21-16 win. We go to our game of the week for plays one and two at number two, Cameron Sizemore of Corbin rolls left, fires downfield, Caleb Mitchell makes the leaping grab in traffic for the Red Hound touchdown and the UPI top play from week 10. Chase Estep lined up to punt for Corbin, but he keeps it on the fake, breaks through a few tacklers and goes all the way for the score. Red Hounds would beat Knox Central 39 to nothing. Sports 101 tonight on WSGS 101.1 with Tanner Hesterberg and Jamie McCracken. They will preview the upcoming high school football playoffs as well as Kentucky, Georgia this weekend. That is sports. We'll be right back.